Mickey on Minecraft Story Mode. The Admin, a villain who can become anyone with a wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you hide who you really are? Not everyone can face a trickster head on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into a hero. Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. Everyone, everybody safe? Yeah, everyone except Nurm. <sighs> Can't believe you left him behind for some useless llama. She's not some useless llama. Looks pretty useless to me. Come on, Jack, give Luna a chance. She could be a big help if you let her. I'll believe it when I see it. First world. Created by us. Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned. Before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. This is way worse than I imagined. That he'd do something like this to his own world. How did nobody know about this? It's just been down here this whole time? Romeo didn't want anyone to know. Wanted people to forget. He probably wants to forget about it, too. Like you tried to forget me back there. <laughs> Funny. I knew what Romeo planned to do. But still, seeing it like this... Romeo? The admin. Oh! It's worse than I imagined. This is the room where he killed Fred. Watched it happen. We refused to join him and... He needs to be stopped. That's why we're here. He hurt you and he'll hurt more people. I wonder if he had a heart at all. Or... He was just a monster pretending to play along. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that...? That is the biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. It would be great if I could go one day just one day without seeing something new and completely terrifying! So that thing is another admin creating monstrosity. Time to move, guys. <gasps> so mesmerizing. Not in the eyes, Radar. Don't look at its eyes. <gasps> Sorry, Jesse. I don't know what happened. It was just hypnotic. So big and glowy. Go, go! Going! Ah! Thank you, Luna. Dismantling the tower! Town isn't 
far from here. I'll lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. What? D do you guys see? Jesse, we gotta go. Not asking for me, cause cause I'm tough. Whatever. Our defenses are impressive. State-of-the-art machinery, automated farming. The oasis is a completely self-sustaining city. It's home. What? What happened to it? No, you're right. Th th this place looks. It looks nice. What's your Teeth away. I know what it looks like. This isn't right. Wait. This is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Oh, get out of here, you fucking carpet. Eat hey, yourself. You, uh. Okay there, Jack? No, this dumb stack of wool won't leave me alone. <clears throat> Disgusting spit everywhere, not good for anything. No useful skills, can't make maps. No sense of humor, terrible conversationalist. I don't think the problem is with Luna, Jack. What? Don't you think this might be because you miss Nerm? I... <sighs> yeah, you're probably right. Sorry, Luna. <clears throat> Get Nurm back, Jack. I don't know how yet, but we're not gonna forget him. Yeah, I, uh, I appreciate that, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! <laughs> Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said! Zara? <laughs> Look at this! My bed! Come on! She's freaking out about a bed? Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? <gasps> ah! Wow. Maybe we should help her. Be my guest. I'm staying as far away from her throwing arm as possible. Ditto! I just wanted to sleep. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. He made sure. He won't get away with this. We'll get back at the admin for what he did. We'll avenge your, your... your bed. You really believe that, don't you? Zara, what are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. What? The portal. Broken now like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. Don't 
lose hope, okay? We can still do this, if you help us. I doubt that. But what about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. If it was your idea, then you should know how to fix it, right? Unless it really was Romeo's invention. It was not. I don't know. Not sure I buy it. I see what you're doing. I don't get it. How do you keep going? Look where you are, but you're still fighting. I'm tired of the admin doing whatever he wants. Stealing my face, my, my town, my friends. I want my life back, and Fred's weapon is the only way to do it. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. We'll find the weapon. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Oh, great. Just what this place is needed. Run on ahead! Things do get pretty boring down here, though. 
Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us, what with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. <sighs> a warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat! Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords or splat! Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. Yeah, <laughs> splat. No deal! Yeah, well that's disappointing. <laughs> yeah, we'll go our own way. Don't go playing heroes, squishies. World this dark will snuff out a light like you real fast. Jack! Jesse! Jack! Eh, tried to tell ya. <laughs> Muscle memory, remember? Bet he's had to dive off a cliff or two in his day. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're right. Thanks, Jesse. Wait. What about Luna? What about her? She's a treasure sniffing llama, right? Treasure sniffing, not jack sniffing. I don't think Luna would be much help here. Yes, this is how they keep the mobs out. Strangers! Strangers! Vinta! What do we do here, Jesse? Well, hey, we're not strangers. We're, we're visitors coming to visit, you know, like... Visitors do. That, that makes no sense. No one visits us. Uh, makes sense, I guess. I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone. Everyone in the underneath. Inta! She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Careful. They might be well armed, and now they know we're coming. Been returned. Festivities will close with the fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? They're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters. Hey, we just got here. We have no right to judge them. Okay, sorry. I think it's kind of nice. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Binta. 
This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred. And locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. Okay, let's do some trivia then. <laughs> That's the spirit. I wasn't sure an outsider would understand. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. The door stays locked until someone wins. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. This place is weird. thing had no chance of growing down here. Might still be useful, though. Nice! You are... Wow, you are really cute! Get it. Serious fetch artist. Oh, you're a good dog. You're a good dog. So that's Fred, huh? Let me guess, Fred liked to paint with his feet? Nope, hurt my painting hands going out into the wilds beyond the keep. Nasty stuff out there. Should have listened, not safe to wander. That's why no one ever leaves. Taught myself to paint like this, but these old dogs aren't up to crafting. How about we make a trade? You craft me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. You know, I got some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. Get that done, prop-like. <laughs> I'm on a roll, and this one's almost finished. You got it. There. I'm looking for information about Fred. Well, this here was Fred's cherished pet, but you'll never guess his name. Never. You stay in there now. Don't want that dog getting you now, do we? How can I get him to call out that chicken's name? these. Like water in a bucket becomes the bucket. Nice moves, Radar. You've been practicing. Uh, well, thanks. I didn't know you were... Uh, just want to be ready. Anyway, 
The Oasis and Fred's Keep are all, you know, kind of broken. But I wonder what this place looked like before. Bet it was amazing. The admin's not going to do this to Beacon Town, is he? We have no idea what he's doing up there. It could be all gone. If he does anything to Beacon Town, then I'm going to be the one to make him pay. You're, uh, kind of scary sometimes. In a good way. Look, if there's one thing I learned in the Slammer, it's that I have to keep my body ready for anything. Uh, one, uh, two, uh, and a half. Uh, hey, Luna, come give me a, give me a huff. Uh, weight resistance, you know? Hey. Uh, oh, my, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, baby, feel that burn. Oh, feel it. Uh, I'm feeling it. Feeling it. Don't hurt me, stranger. I did what you asked. Yeah, okay, don't freak out. I'm backing away. Nice and non-threatening. Hi. Um... Oh, you want to know something about Fred? Uh, yeah, actually. How did you... His favorite tool? A diamond hoe. That's why I use two. And why I take farming my mushrooms super, super seriously. For serious. Cool. Yeah, sure. Makes sense. Uh, bye. What are you up to? Uh huh. Uh, uh oh. Just trying to figure out if, if there's a better way into Fred's house than, well, studying. Just in case. Hey, um, Jesse? Yeah. Do you think Radar still thinks. I don't know. Uh, I feel like everyone's looking at me differently. You noticed it too, right? He's being weird with me. Like, like he thinks I'm still. still with the admin or something. Hey. I know you better than anyone, right? You're still the same Petri you've always been. <laughs> Hard-headed? <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. That makes me feel better. Just had to, you know, make sure I wasn't the only one who noticed. Hey there, little guy. I got a game for you. Okay, you see that chicken? He loves playing chase. Go get him. Dog! What are you- Oh no! Waffles! Waffles! Come back! Come back! Waffles, huh? Fine, you got me. It's waffles, all right. Chicken could never make a decision. Poor fella. All right, time to make a painting. All done. <gasps> it's just lovely. I am going to paint this Fred's favorite color. Not just any blue. Lapis blue. Lapis blue. Oh, same color as my underwear. Mine too. <laughs> Are you ready to begin? 
I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone! Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now! Gather round, everyone! Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion, Kent! And we have a challenger! Uh... Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. Comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude! Kent! Be my best friend! May the most faithful friend of Fred win. Oh, I will. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar. Begin! Yes, yes, yes! Jesse, it's as if you've known Fred his whole life. What? How can you say that? That, that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. 
though I must give you points for accuracy. Such painstaking detail. I declare this round a draw! Look, this was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Your time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this! His favorite color was lapis blue. That is correct! Well done! Next question. Kent, Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hoe. Obviously. Very good! Jesse, Fred had a constant companion, a fine, feathery friend. <laughs> What was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles. For the way he was always waffling. That is correct! Jesse, well done! I am rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent, you might finally lose your title. Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with, this was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? Uh, no one knows that. Uh, Fred didn't play favorites with resources. Ah, but that's where you're wrong. It's Birch. It's Birch! You, uh... Yes! Yes! Birch was Fred's favorite. That's right! Jesse won! <laughs> Way to go, Jesse! Congratulations! That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. The true <laughs> mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. I love them, thank you. what you're looking for. Huh, kinda cozy. Okay, if I were a weapon of some sort, where would I be? No one will mind if I just... <laughs> Whoa, half the pages are gone. And the rest, there are a lot of notes. Secret room. There's got to be something down here.
This book contains the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. Yeah, it goes on. Signed by the chief. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. That, this is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait home. And he wasn't talking about here. There's got to be something in here that says where this cabin is. Three towns. There's the oasis there and the keep. Third is Romeoburg. Seriously? What kind of name is Romeoburg? No cabin, though. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. Binta! Jesse, I... There's something I need to ask you about. Uh... How did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge, and it was shared with me in great confidence before... Sorry, I don't reveal my sources. You're not an ordinary traveler, are you? Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. There aren't many people we don't recognize down here. Yeah, about that. Well... Did you at least find what you were looking for? This... weapon? I don't know why Fred would have one. But I must admit I'm curious. I'm afraid we need to ask you for more help. Oh? Fred mention a cabin where he, Zara, and Romeo live. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Binta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And if Romeo... You welcomed us in. Of course we'll help you. Thank you. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, take good care of it. You've shown I can trust you to respect Fred's memory. You didn't have to do this. Thank you, really. You're very welcome. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Where did... Hey, give that back! <laughs> Ugh, thanks. <laughs> 